Hi everybody, it's Karen here from tuppenscolour.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, this is the card that I'm making today. Uh, now, I don't know about you, but I like to be very, very frugal with my uh, my foil card. It's very gorgeous and it's rather precious. So today's project uh, just uses up uh, lots of little scraps of foil card that you may have left lying around. Uh, so stay with me and I'll show you how I made it. These are the things that I'm using to make my card today. My card base is a piece of thick whisper white and it's uh, 11 and a half by 4 and scored and folded at 5 and 3 quarters. The mat that goes on to the front is a piece of U of Cheer DSP and I've cut this to 3 and 3 quarters by 5 and a half. I've got some scraps of foil card for die cutting. I've got some uh, copper some gold, some champagne and some silver. I'm going to be using a stamp from Cheers to the Year, a stamp in Versamark and emboss in silver and I'm going to be doing some die cutting so I'm going to be using some of the dies from the Pretty Pines set and from the Swirly Scribbles dies. I'm going to stamp and emboss directly on to my uh, my piece of DSP. Now this is a, a specialty DSP. It's foiled. Okay, the one side is plain whisper white, but the pretty side has got foiled snowflakes on it. Now I wasn't a hundred percent sure if this was going to work, so I did do a dry run, and I was happy with the results. So uh, I'm confident that this is going to work okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go all over it with my embossing buddy because I want uh, embossing powder where I need it I don't want it anywhere else and I quite often forget to do that so I'm quite proud of myself that I remembered I've got my uh, stamp ready mounted up on my clear block and I'm going to uh, add first marking by tapping lightly onto my stamp and I'm going to position this um, bottom right third and over yeah so I think around about there it looks good and I hope it's straight if it's not we'll just have to live with it and I'm going to count one two three four five for the first mark ink to transfer now um, there isn't a great deal to see there at the moment but once we add in the embossing powder I hope Oops, need a little bit more in that section there. And now all I have to do is to heat it. So uh, I'm going to turn my embossing gun on too high, give it a few seconds to warm up, and then we will uh, heat the powder. This is a good project for using up uh, scraps of your foil card because for each individual piece you actually don't need a very big bit of card. Uh, so I'm going to go over to my big shot and I'm going to cut out one of uh, these pieces and then I'm going to cut out um, a few of this, uh, the smallest of the pine branches and I'm also going to cut out some of these two pieces and some of this piece and I'm going to cut uh, one of uh, these smaller bows so that's going to take me a little bit of time so I'm going to take these away and uh, I'm going to go and do that and then I will uh, be right back now uh, today I think I'm going to start by putting the front onto the base. Now normally I do all of the uh, the decorative stuff on the uh, on the card base, on the card front sorry, before I put it onto my uh, my base card. But today I'm going to uh, I'm going to do it the other way around. Partly because the uh, the heating has warped the card a little bit so I want to uh, I want to pin it down and to make it lie flat, all right, and 
partly because, do you know what, there no, there's no law about this, I can do this if I want to, alright? So that's going to be my card, uh, my card front, so here is going to be the basis of the, the wreath. And uh, I'm going to do a little bit of playing with positioning as to where I like things before I start sticking things down. Okay, so uh, these pine branches I cut out of the, the champagne card. And it's quite difficult to see in this light, but it is slightly different to the base card. Okay, so I think I quite like that. So I'm going to um, spread some of my liquid glue. The, the bottom end of this has got a bit bunged up. Some kind of... No, it's not going to play. Oops, I have email. Let's put some of that on there. And let's move those bits out of there. And I'm just going to just lightly dab into the adhesive. Okay. Now I know there are people who like to use sponges on it. Um, I'm just too much of a messy crafter. It doesn't really work for me. I always manage to get it all over everything. If I put it on a sponge I get it on the front as well as on the back and uh, I have decided that no, it doesn't work for me. Okay, I'm just going to adjust the position of that slightly and give it a rub with a soft cloth here. Okay, so I'm going to start building up my design and uh, give you some music to listen to while I do it. Okay, and there is my finished card, which I'm holding at a rather strange angle so that you don't get blinded by the, uh, the reflections from the foil. Uh, I added a couple of the gold faceted gems just here and here, just to kind of uh, help cover up where all my uh, bits of foil card uh, came together because I thought that looked a little bit messy. I'm not quite sure how well you can see that. Just about, I think on the on the screen but uh, that's it for today thank you very much for joining me would love it if you clicked the like button left me a comment and came back to see me again sometime soon but for now bye bye